All right, so this is beginning of my journal discussion um, the, the recording I'm going to do on Marcus Garvey. And yeah, I just did a recording wishing my happy birthday today. And trust me, this is going to be the start, uh, start of a recording that I've been meaning to do. And this talks about the blunt, honest, straightforward question. Does Jamaica love Marcus Garvey? And for those who might be wondering, that's a rhetorical question because... Most of you already know the answer to that. All right, and the answer is, no, we don't. All right, because, you know, Marcus Garvey, one of the greatest men alive, one, um, the, one of the founding fathers of the Pan-Africanist movement. This is the guy that has founded, created organizations, UNIA, created um, li li the Liberty Hall movement, where had various divisions around the world, and also... Created adventures at Black Star Line, and he was also one of um, the early black figures that said that black people need to be united regardless of nationality, gender, um, gender, political beliefs. That we all have to, in the face of racial, um, systematic, and cultural white supremacy, that we all must rise together and push back. And and he's also one of the people that helped to. Um, inspire other people don't roll like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, various others, even outside the black community. And the thing is, this boils down to the fact that, yes, he is one of Jamaica's own, chil own children. Unfortunately, despite how much Marcus Garvey achieved, he's not even loved and appreciated his own home country. And a good example of this is like when I woke up today, and this is before I've been again. Um, before I began to prepare to do this recording, where I got the time out of doing errands or whatever, I, see, I saw the, some bit of fuckery right here when I was walking on the street. Like, you, um, you saw some political supporters of the two plantation slave parties, PNP and GLP. Yeah, I said it. And you saw them, all of them murders doing the usual bullshit and so on. I mean, I am glad that they weren't really literally getting in any cross fair um any crosshairs with each other that they weren't literally arguing to each other i mean that if you call that improvement i guess whatever but the fact that you saw these people congregating with these two parties comprised of political figures who do not give a damn about them yeah i said that as well and i said to myself um how they don't know what date is i mean you have all the time to do to get ready for silly season because elections are coming up next month and they don't bother acknowledging that a much more important um, important figure whose birthday it is today and none of, the, none of these people are dressed up um, commemorating Marcus Garvey. All right, none of these people I mean they can go all these ways for these two political parties who again are basically two sides of the same coin. But we don't see these people um, dressing up in in um, dress, dressing up commemorating Garvey or what his message stood for, and and uh, and it's not just them. It's just the general attitude a lot of Jamaicans have towards Marcus Garvey. All right, yeah, because we acknowledge him on a symbolic level. They say, hey, Marcus Garvey is one of our own people, but we uh, yeah, we we'll acknowledge that his birth. Well, we'll barely acknowledge it because they just uh, just mentioned it on the radio and also and. But but it's just a general okay yeah whatever I'm just a, just nothing out of the ordinary mean like he's not that significant enough that we're going to make make a public um, make a more public showing commemorating this great man yeah okay we'll just acknowledge it because I mean like today today's not even a public holiday as you notice like Marcus Garvey who's done so much more than a lot of other people more than a lot of our political leaders have com um, combined. And we can acknowledge this man in this way, and it, and again, it's just that that whole thing is just all over. And the thing is that it shouldn't be surprised because even when Garvey was alive, we didn't really give a damn about Garvey. Can remember when he started UNIA in Jamaica before he went to America? We didn't really pay him that mind. I mean, Jamaica was basically a, a slave colony, out and out slave colony, like the rest of the um, rest of the world, and. No matter, but the thing is that that whole plantation system was so entrenched deep within the people, and I'm not going to go beat bashing on those the ruling class or their or these, the white supremacists that they're collaborative because 
I expect them to not give a damn about Garvey or try to undermine sabotage Garvey, but a lot of black Jamaicans did not give a shit about this guy. They didn't really even give Garvey any credit. Now, when he went over, became bigger, all right, as you know, and then when he got the, sent back to Jamaica, he got a little bit of attention. That's only because he was, because um, he got some props overseas that we just, we just gave him a bit more attention. But when Garvey tried to speak out and said, hey, we need things Jamaica needs to, it needs to come, um, the system that, that's, that plantation system, that Jam um, infrastructure that Jamaica is still under, that needs to change. We were in Garvey. Garvey, they basically voted against, voted for some, I think, some white um, politician over Garvey. And it was basically said, um, it basically said, um, we, even though we acknowledge that you did do some good things, um, we still are, we still don't want to be under mass. So that's, that's right. And that, and that attitude has still carried over to this day. And that's not benefited Jamaicans um, co collectively, but we don't care. We're just so entrenched on that plantation culture that we just don't give a damn anymore. And, and the thing is that Garvey just left Jamaican disgust and said, not screw this me, this may be my home country, but y'all are not ready for me. You, you, um, I'm way too good for you all because you, you, you all are just so lost that I can, I, even I cannot... Even I, if I, even I can't help you out though, and and that's the thing we don't acknowledge that we, when Garvey came back, we ran Garvey, we ignored, sidelined him, and we caused him to actually migrate over to England where he passed away. And yeah, we, even though thanks to former Prime Minister Edward Siago, all right, um, he, even though he he brought he put in um, put the effort to bring him back, and yeah, we what we want to say about Siago, that's one thing I'll give him credit for. I mean. It's not me being a Siago apologist or anything, but that's one good thing I can give him credit for right there, regards to Garvey. Even when he was brought back to Jamaica, um, yeah, we just still just we just symbolically acknowledge him. Like he just basically just there. He he just basically just us is us. Oh, he's just he um he's just a guy that we just we take note of, but we don't even take take his philosophy or anything. Um, to heart, and yeah, you'll have some Jamaicans on general level who, fortunately, can't are in position to put anything. Yeah, they'll say that Garvey is this and that, and unfortunately, I've come across a lot of coons and bedwenches in Jamaica who are saying that Garvey is this, he's racist, he's divisive, uh, divisive, and um, and uh, his his policy, his his philosophies are outdated. What they basically said, we want this system where we're under mass uh, we we still want white mom and white daddy to rule over us. That's what that's what idiots like that are really saying when they when they say crap about Garvey. And yeah, they'll say, Oh, Garvey was a fraud and he is convicted of tax evasion. Yet yeah, these same people vote keep voting supporting politicians who are even have even longer rap sheet and I have substantial evidence that they're damned of wrong wrongdoings. But yeah, we'll we'll support those people over Garvey. Or and even worse, I know at a general level and we'll support gunmen and dons again who are even bigger criminals than Garvey could is accused of being and yeah but we'll 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 elevate those people we don't we'll we'll big up those people we acknowledge those people over someone like Marcus Garvey and this is why I said that Jamaica's never loved Garvey all right we can pretend that we give him some symbolic um relevance all right because I'm even hearing some crap they're trying to sell his birth home and uh, birth home i think there's some dispute with some people who live there i don't know exact details but that's again does this disgraceful and yeah we have a liberty hall in downtown kingston i mean again it's acknowledged we're not re but a lot of people in downtown i'm sorry to beat upon all of you none of you really take garbage philosophy tart and and yeah i know the other parties that are politicians who are negropians many of them are of course, they're not going to take Garvey. Being that they're not going to make a big showing of Garvey on a day like this, because Garvey is everything they stand against, right? Because if you have, if they're technology Garvey more than a symbolic level, and you have some people who have sense, who basically whose IQ is higher than their shoelaces, if they understand the significance of Marcus Garvey, yeah, then that's going to be end of these politicians and these elites and these criminals who who have so much power and influence in Jamaica. Because when you get enough Jamaican people said, we have to um, indoctrinate the, the policies of Marcus Garvey. Um, yeah, that slave plantation system is going to be over. And the thing is, yeah, I expect that the 
that the powers that be are not going to want Gar because when Gar was alive when he was in Jamaica, they hated his guts. They hated him like poison. Because I remember he was a staunch critic of Norman Manley. All right. And yeah, I know the Manleys are basically seen as patron saints of virtue. But let's be honest, they were not angels either. But I'm just saying. But the thing is, like I said, Garvey spoke out against a lot of the, the powers that the elites here in Jamaica when he was alive. And they hated his guts. And to them, in a sense, in them and their sentence, this is their payback. They're saying, okay, let's undermine Garvey. Let's pretend he does not exist. Let's just acknowledge him symbolically. But, yeah, but we're not going to be make sure, we're going to make sure that these global mass of Jamaicans are not going to be taking his policies to heart. Are are going to start waking up in mass. Because once that happens again, that poor hole that they have Jamaica on, that's going to go away and they're going to have to either leave the country or, or whatever. But, but the thing is, I expect that from them. But the people, general populace, you have no excuses, all right? These people, political leaders, people in place of powers, they're not going to acknowledge Garvey because they're not supposed to acknowledge Garvey because Garvey stands against that plantation slave system that Jamaica is based on. Yeah, it does not end their job to acknowledge someone like Garvey. However, there's no excuse, especially those diehard political supporters I saw today are in general. None of you have any excuses. All of you should be celebrating more focus into Garvey. Everyone should be pushing for Mark, Marcus Garvey's birthday to be a public holiday. All right? You should be pushing for these MPs and whatever to make Marcus Garvey a public holiday and actually teach more Marcus Garvey's philosophy in school. But Again, most Jamaicans, unfortunately, like a lot of the black people in diaspora, sorry to say this, we like being slaves. We like being under that white mommy and white daddy. I mean, that's more important than our survival. And even though that's going to bite us in the long run, and it always, it always does, that doesn't matter to us. I mean, and this is why it's, I say that Jamaica's never loved Marcus Garvey. And yeah, this is supposed to be his birthday where it's supposed to be honored and celebrate this man, but we can't lie. We can't we can't pretend that okay that we can't address what's what's how um what we're doing in um by not honoring this great man. And y'all should be ashamed of I say to most Jamaicans here. The minority of Jamaicans who get this, big up to you. They're gonna be in they're actually gonna be I mean I mean everything I'm just saying right here, but Y'all, um, Jamaica, you, like I said, um, I unfortunately got to the point where I expect that most of us are going to wake up soon, that we're going to act, uh, start acting like we have some damn sense. I've, I've lost that, I'm realistic enough to expect that most of us aren't going to make it. And when, you're, when you said that you're not going to acknowledge one of the greatest men alive on this day and his birthday, y'all are basically still on that slave plantation because there's no excuse why Garvey shouldn't be getting more recognitions and so on. Because even when I'm looking at the newspapers online, they barely mention Marcus Garvey, all right? Uh, Marcus Garvey, yeah, we can't, uh, you have idiots who can talk about Kamala Harris. Again, woman has done nothing for the black community, all right? And I don't give a damn that if, if her dad and her family in Jamaica, she hasn't done anything for them either. But we can't really put that same energy towards this Marcus Mosaic Garvey. And... Shame on all of you. Shame on this whole country. And again, I'm not just mad at the publications, the poli the polls that be. I expect them not to do it because that's because Marcus Garvey is their internal enemy. And it's not because of him directly, it's because of what he symbolizes. I expect that, but the people on the general whole, you all feel Marcus Garvey more than the, uh, than the Jamaican government, the Jamaican media, and so on. All right. And, that, and you all should be ashamed that damn to shame yourself on this day and, and i'm sure marcus garvey is rolling in his grave right now but i think even garvey is going to say that i think garvey has basically said that not all of us are going to make it in the long run and the people who are not who are not going to give marcus garvey any tribute on this day those are going to be people who are who are not going to who basically are not fit to fit to survive in the long run and yeah i said it but anyways this is for state of jamaican caribbean check out my other youtube pages Miles Goosen Perrin, Miles Jeff Productions, real thoughts of Miles. Okay. Oh, sorry, there's one thing I wanted to add to my general discussions about Marcus Garvey, and I should have added it sooner. All right, is that 
Uh, to show how much Jamaicans do not appreciate Marcus Garvey, I'm willing to bet if Marcus Garvey were to come back from the grave, uh, right back in the present day, and try and, and try to talk about empowerment and how we need to better ourselves, and that we as black people must be fully emancipated, cause we're not emancipated, all right. We got we they replaced chattel slavery, economic and cultural slavery. Let's just be honest with that. Do you really think that most Jamaicans would appreciate Garvey? No. If he was to go amongst a lot of these ignorant, backward, and and um and easily gullible people that unfortunately are in a majority in Jamaica, I'm sorry not to hurt anyone's feelings, but all them would do is tend to go shut him out, sit on one place, and and load load them. Say, okay, all right. And basically, say if Garvey, and again, if Garvey was saying, you know what, you, we can do better. We can be better than this. You need to be warriors, thinkers, visionaries. We're not not acting as Monday plantation slaves. Especially for two political parties that we keep supporting that don't give a damn about you. Again, all I'm gonna tell Garvey say go yeah, him for go sit down, load um sit sit down, sit down somewhere and shut him out. If I'm really press Garvey, oh they'll get their first shooter kill Garvey right there. If I'm really try to press his luck now. That's how much we don't appreciate Garvey. And it's you not know, the sad thing about on this day on August seventeenth. I can bet you over in America, probably various places around um, play, uh, various places that uh, the, um, that strongly supported Garvey back in the days, they're celebrating Marcus Garvey Day more than Jamaicans, the place that Jim Garvey was born in. All right, let that sink and resonate to all of you. And like I said, shame on Jamaica on the whole. Y'all really let this man down. Y'all could have really repped for this man on his own birthday, but again, most of us Jamaicans, like a lot, unfortunately, the blacks in the diaspora around the globe, don't want empowerment and. I said, those are the black people that are not going to make it in the long run. Those are the ones that are going to be thinned away from the herd, so to speak. So that's what I want to add. So I'll post this ACP um, with the rest of this um, the general discussion. All right.